with that. Yeah. Okay. So, well, the first thing I've done is my website. I narrowed down my niche from business to art therapy and life coaching and some transitions, but mostly um, retirement. Um, I have an explanation of the services of art therapy and life coaching that I do that is non-clinical and the pain points that clients have with the solutions to the problems, you know, kind of outlined. Um, I have a welcome packet that I did with questions, with the questionnaire for creativity, what they like to do creatively, if it helps them with solving, solving problems, their stress levels. I have a wheel of life and values assessment. That's kind of optional. That's not really, I don't want to bombard people with too much. So that's, mm -hmm. um, I have an agreement and contract for um, individuals and on individuals with a sponsor too. Um, I added a scheduler. Um, I added directives outlined briefly titles with four, eight and 12 week packages. Um, a PDF of self-care I have on my website. And now I'm working on 50 posts extracted from clients' pain points um, to put on with, with my solutions to put on social media with the goal of putting like five a week on Facebook business and Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm working on, you know, flushing out 48, 50 um, posts to, mm -hmm. to transfer, to, to um, rotate and recycle every month or so, whatever I need to do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I've been working on. And wow, you've been a big help. I couldn't do yeah. it without you. Wow, that's amazing. So much. And I was also looking at your website, paintyourdestiny.com. And it was just very um, simple and really easy to navigate. And everything was kind of like, it looked so ready for me and open for me to like sign up if I wanted to, which was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Aim for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, really like that's, that's such, um, lots of energy and love that you put in there. And of course, all the things that you have kind of shared here, like all the things that you've done, the, the list. <laughs> uh, so I recognize that. <laughs> and congratulations for doing all that. Thank um, you. Yeah, so do you have any thoughts on those things that you have done so far or um, anything that you, maybe we can jump into the question or challenge if you want to right away, but anything else that you wanted to mention before? Um, well, um, the 50 posts are taking some time because I mm. want to get it um, written out. So, um, you know, so that I can reach people properly, mm. like with a pain point and a solution and you know summing it up and you know telling them what I can do for them that's mm -hmm. uh that's important that's what I'm really working on now I only have a few done so far because it's taking me some time mm -hmm. but um I'll work on that um I had a question though um yeah I might be doing live groups not online groups at a residence mm -hmm. for 55 up uh, residents mm -hmm. And I don't have a disclaimer for that. And I don't have a group contract either. I'm mm. curious how to go about that. Like, ah, uh, okay. So in-person group sessions, um, do you have a contract with the place, the site? Not that yet. No, not yet. Ah, uh, okay. No, so I'm I would, I see. So I would include those disclaimers inside the contract itself because you're basically creating an agreement between the site and you and the recipient of the service um, is the uh, are the participants but they are part of the site right so the site is responsible for the participants so when you um, outline those disclaimers or terms of service in your agreement with in, the, in your contract with the site you should be okay okay yeah. so how do I go about making the contract the group contract just kind of like an individual only explain that it's a group and um it would 
Yes, it will be very similar, right? Of course, you have to name the site, the, the organization as the, oh, okay. uh, uh, okay. the other party. Yeah. And then um, they, you know, I might also ask them if they have some kind of contract that you, you need to sign as well. Yeah, they usually do. Yeah, yeah so that will be, I think, um, uh, that will be wise to ask. And then... Um, I, I'm guessing it will be very similar to your one-on-one, but just noticing that it is the agency or the site that you are contracting with, um, it should and, be, yeah. And is it necessary to say um, um, about um, that it's for educational purposes only and if anybody right. struggles, I can refer them to a psychotherapist that it's, it's not clinical. Right, that. right. Yeah. So like say also including that it was not meant to replace any psychotherapy services. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, do you know anything about, um, I want, I, I saw on your, um, on your, on your mods about needing the payment method to flow well and mm. easy to book the first session. And I'm just curious, do you know anything about, um, mm. is, is there a, a questionnaire for uh, the welcome packet and the scheduler and payment all on, on the Wix website? Mm. Is, it, is it all there together? And I just have to like bring it out to them. Ah, uh, so you are talking about like the booking process itself, like, uh, them uh, booking the cal booking on the calendar paying and then the the agreement form is that what you're saying yeah do i have that all coming from the website because ah. i've been doing it i've been doing it like email mm, right 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 um so i think the the way i have done it before to make it a, a very streamlined is making the um so uh, allowing the client to do everything kind of on their own, except the uh, finalized agreement form. So how I set it up is um, they can book it on the website, right? You should be able to have the calendar. I also saw that you have the calendar there as well for the discovery yeah. call. Uh, so that's, that should be good. Um, and in terms, oh, let me see. I'm trying to think. If you already have a, so you incorporate discovery calls, right? Before they sign up for any package, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. I okay, okay, got it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to backtrack here then. If that's the case. Um, so at the discovery call, they can decide, don't they yes. decide? Yeah, yeah, so it, inside the discovery call, or maybe right after the discovery call, um, I usually give them the, the booking link, which yeah. is the calendar plus the payment processor. Okay. Uh, and inside that booking link, so what, after they finish the payment, they will get a, um, they will be either redirected to a agreement form they have to sign. But or what, do you mean, what do you mean redirected? Do I send that to them? Mm. So what like, I mean is that uh, I set it up automatically, so I don't need to send it out uh, manually. So how yeah. they how I did it is I use Acuity Scheduler. So on the last page, after they book it, they get a confirmation page and I can actually, um, uh, what is that called? I can actually customize the last page the confirmation page so that i put the link of to sign the agreement form right there so okay. it says go here i don't have liquidity i'm using mm. wix and, and i'm just mm -hmm. curious i guess i could probably figure that out with wix like an agreement get the agreement yes. out, the scheduler the time and the payment i can do payment through wix um i believe you can definitely do that um, if you are, you can also use like a third party scheduler, like Acuity or um, oh, Calendly, okay. but you just have to uh, copy and paste the link or like the code, code <laughs> inside the Wix webpage you have. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. But I could probably do it all on Wix, so the scheduler and the payment. I think so. I think so. I think they, yeah, they have that feature yeah. as well. So the scheduling, and the payment should be done through your website. And then the, the welcome packet could be all sent from Wix. Oh, I think. I think. Okay. That's fabulous then. Sure. I think that if you can do that, Ellen, then you can probably also send the agreement form, you know, through Rix right away, um, like automatically. Meeting. Yeah. So I think yeah. that, yeah, <laughs> that, sounds, that would be good, like to make it streamlined and automatic for your clients yeah. so they can really? do it in one go. Right? I've got to tell you, go. I've got yeah, to tell yeah. you, Zhang, I'm getting all these hits on my website lately, like oh, wow. three a day, which is a lot for me. That's great. Whoa. <laughs> like, all these people looking at my website. It's so exciting. Oh, that is awesome. Where are they? Do you know where they're coming from? They're coming from New Jersey, Ireland, California, oh, wow. um, Pennsylvania, Florida, all <laughs> over the place. Oh, wow. It's well, really, it, it's fun. That is. Do you think they're <laughs> coming from like also meaning like online? Are they coming from like social media? I, they might be because I, I started, I just learned how to hashtag people. So I've been hashtagging. <sighs> different groups on my Instagram account so that I see that's getting more business too oh mm, well, that's definitely a good sign if you're getting more visitors on your website it means yeah. that they're interested it's because yeah. it's like usually people don't um just see or go to a website right away they either have to know you first somewhere on social media or somewhere else right in order for them to go to your website so people who land on your website are people who are really kind of interested in you right so that's a, that's really great to hear <laughs> it, it, at least they're curious yeah yeah either, either way to learn about you yeah yeah that's cool that's cool so you're getting things kind of like set up for the booking process right now oh, yeah. That sounds I, good. I, I've been talking to this 55 and above residents mm -hmm. and I've been, to, I, I offered a free introductory mm -hmm. um, session with a group of residents, like five to 10, 10 residents. And I, I said, she said, what would you like to do on a non-bank going basis groups or like a, a group of so many groups? And I, I said, really what I want to do is online individual. So if mm -hmm. I did an introductory um session i would like to bring them on as individual clients and she has to check with her um her administrator to see if they can work that out otherwise i will go in and do groups oh, i don't want to miss out the opportunity so i'll do live groups mm, if, I can, if i have to mm, you know, that's mm, not first choice but okay. yeah well i think that yeah definitely that can open up opportunities and yeah Right, like who knows wh where it can lead you to anyway, right? <laughs> That's I fantastic. Know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> also, so things are kind of opening up and new things are happening. So that's exciting, Ellen. Um, do you have anything that you are kind of uh, maybe working on right now in turn other than maybe the booking process and that in well, person? Just group? just what I'm working on mostly now is is getting together the um the um 50 or so um social media posts okay, um, okay. that's really what i'm concentrating on now and i want right. to i want to get it clearly down so i can just mm. put them up put like five up a week if i can mm. that's what i'd like to do and then um rotate them every month you know just take uh. excerpts from them and change it around to mm -hmm. to keep it moving and that's that's like this is like a big deal for me <laughs> and i'm trying to um i'm trying to work with um canva to put uh -huh. kind of like a nice presentation out there too right. and then there's another site that i don't remember the name of that has pictures of people so i can mm. put like retirees with pictures and uh, you know discuss it like you know leave it up like that you know i see yeah that's a good idea like you uh you're trying to incorporate like stock images or stock photos yeah of yeah. retirees and right right yeah that's that's awesome yes. people, do you have a website that you know do, that pardon you me? do you have a website of where you can get those stock photos yes i can't remember the name of it okay I'm great sorry. great so you already know all right awesome yeah <laughs> awesome so what do you think in terms of the social social media post? Um, 
do you have any like specific thing that might be challenging for you in terms of creating those posts? Just doing them five mm. days a week, just like, getting, <laughs> you know, yeah. it, because for me out there on social media is kind of like, it takes an effort for me. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's kind yeah. of like, here we go again. You know, it's another <laughs> like, it's an effort. It's an effort mm. because I, I'm not, I'm, I'm more extroverted as I get older, but like, I'm still kind of introverted. I'm still <laughs> kind of afraid of being out there, but I'm getting good reviews from people that I put, yeah. people like what I put out, which That's is good. Great. I don't have a lot of followers on Instagram, but that will come once I keep hashtagging people mm. and um, keep, you know, getting work out there. Um, right. And I'll have to, I saw that you listed, you put up the Canon camera. No, oh, yeah. Christmas present for myself. <laughs> oh, really? That would be so cool. Also, I, what, what do you want to do with that? With the yeah. camera? I, I want to I want to do videos. I want to do. Um, <sighs> yeah, videos, clear videos, and I'll get a, a um, tripod and set it up real. Oh, um, I see. Well, so that would be very I'm, I'm going to work on that. That's that's mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen this winter. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, that's what's, that's what's going to go on. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. It, yeah kind of expanding yeah. into videos as well. <laughs> yeah, the camera really will work well. I, I really like the camera. Um, it, it really makes a difference in terms of the quality. I think. <laughs> uh, so if you want to make it easy on yourself, I think, yeah, going ahead with that camera will be a good idea. <laughs> uh, so good. Good. So uh when you so in when you create the social media posts i know there are probably kind of two things that you have to take in mind like first is like the content itself right like the yeah. idea itself the topic and then the design right the visuals yeah. um uh which one do you think uh you might have a a harder time with or you think you might have um, need I some help have a for harder me. time with the design but design? once i get going okay. with the design i think it'll be easy okay. i just don't know canva that well yet uh, I'm learning it i see so, but I once see. that's going i think that will be fun mm. and then i can concentrate on content even more but um right. have you ever have you seen any of my videos that i put up on facebook uh the videos on facebook yeah on, facebook. on your facebook page uh-huh Oh, no, I haven't really seen them. And well, your there, page is Paint Your Destiny. Is that right? No, it's under my name, Ellen Butcher. Oh, it's your, oh, it's your name. Okay, okay. I, I, I don't, ha, I just started a business Facebook page lately. Ah, okay. And I have no followers. I, I'm just getting it up there now. Mm, but um, okay. that's on my, my individual, my, um, my personal page. I put a few videos up and, you know, um, they're, they're beginning posts they're beginning mm -hmm. some of them are pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm learning and I'm not afraid to get out there and try oh that's forever, awesome like I said but I'm not yeah. afraid to keep going I love it yeah yeah I, I I see I'm just checking it out right now but it's that's awesome that you're just I, taking I, you know it's thanks there. to you Yuzhong it's thanks yeah. to you because I see <laughs> you you see you have a very pleasant personality and you don't seem like out very extroverted you see uh -huh. like, no. <laughs> calm, kind of like within being uh -huh. within person and I, I love that because it just gave me so much like you know encouragement to uh -huh. put it out there myself when you have when you're when you're being taught by people that are naturally extroverted you think uh -huh. oh I can never do what they're doing but like you're yeah. like you're calm and you're mellow and you're very cool and like I just think oh this is a great person uh -huh. to learn from so I appreciate everything you've done and I've yeah. learned so much. Honestly, I've learned an awful lot. Oh, thank you. Really? Uh, that's, that's awesome to hear. I think that sometimes we have to uh, see examples or like to give us permission that, you know, I can do it my own way, right? Instead of trying to be a certain way because we see those certain people in, in, in that way, like extroverted people, right? Uh, I mean, it might be the case that... Uh, we see a lot of extroverted personalities, but then 
Um, I think that there are also people who have like huge communities online who are very different, like who are more introverted or have different yeah. styles and personalities on especially I think our therapists right <laughs> we're not as like <laughs> kind of like out there out there so it's true, it's true. yeah yeah um, one thing I haven't tried yet is YouTube though so I'll have mm. to get started with that I think that's a little different of a format yes right? it a is platform yeah it yeah I would say Ellen you're focusing on Facebook and Instagram at the moment right right okay yeah I think that that's really great and then also the just the fact that you're telling me you know you're getting a more visitors on your website just kind of shows me that your Facebook and your Instagram is working and so I would say like really dedicating yourself or just kind of focusing on those two platforms for okay. right now will be really okay. great because I know the one thing that I can say for sure about YouTube is that it is a whole like it, it really requires your kind of full attention for it to kind of gain momentum. And so if you want to do it, like just kind of sporadically, I would say YouTube is not the best kind of platform to expect like amazing momentum when you do it sporadically. I, it really, I think it really requires kind of regularity and consistency. So I would, I would say once you have a good kind of momentum with your Facebook and Instagram, you can maybe, later on bring them to your youtube channel if you want to um when you when you start your youtube um then you already have like a little client or audience base kind of right on youtube already then that's kind of nice so um that's just kind of my suggestion of course it's your it's your choice but i think it's nice that you are focusing on on facebook and instagram right now yeah thank you thank you Mm -hmm. So, all right, things are going well. Uh, and yeah, you got so some exciting things in plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think there is anything else that I can support you with today? Um, anything that you wanted to kind of bring up during the coaching today? I Any think questions? I covered as much as I can right now mm-hmm. going forward. Um, no, thank you for awesome. your help, Yuzhang. Thank you. Very yeah, much. of course. Of course. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to just kind of, I mean, I have been excited <laughs> to see you grow and, and, and to hear today, especially like kind of reviewing all the things that you have done so far in the visionary program. It's just like really crazy because I yeah. know like I've worked with people before where they tell me like when, when, when I get into like one-on-one sessions, they tell me like, you know, I've been thinking about this, but like it's been one or two years since I couldn't get started or something like that, right? Like, or they started with the website, but it, it's not really, uh, you know, really doing its kind of function of, of booking people and things like that, right? Like for many months or many years, uh, so it's just kind of amazing to hear like how much you really you know went through within the visionary. You know, well, program. I I go through I go through spurts, and on mm-hmm. the um for my online client, um I've been doing um medit not um mm-hmm. breathing exercises, three deep breaths, and I do some arm and leg exercises too, just to get the motion. Oh, that's going. cool. So yeah. I think that's important too. And it's coming along. I'm learning how to do it. I, I, I look at my notes a little bit to get it down well, because I, I, I my art therapy experience is with the elderly and um, Alzheimer's and dementia. So yeah. that was limiting. You know, now um, I've got a more awake <laughs> group. <of people>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but I can kind of relate because I also... Um, I worked a little bit in a nursing home before in, in the past, uh, um, and, and I definitely resonate with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a whole it's, different, yeah, a whole experience. Different, yeah, yeah, working with different. the population. Yeah, yeah. Very um, mm-hmm. But it's exciting stuff that you're working with the retirees, and I feel like it's a really kind of special niche and very needed like service like yeah I think that a lot of people just come to kind of like this realization that I need to go kind of go inside and see what I really truly want to do or kind of check back in with their identity and exactly. yeah, all, all the things so, I really think mm-hmm. I think retirees have a big self-identity problem right. um, I think it's really hard when they get home and they're missing their co-workers 
and yeah. um, it's a big piece. Yeah, they they lose interest in self care and they get lazy or they they mm. need to regroup, do a volunteer work or a, another yeah. part time job, something to keep them <laughs> active, a new hobby or pick up the old mm. hobby. Yeah, you know, there's mm -hmm. a lot. There's a lot to mm -hmm. do. There's a lot to focus on, okay, and I think fine. I think the art therapy can really help them. Um, focus and a life coaching and art therapy. I think that especially, together. yeah, I, I think it's a really good combination too that you're you're doing at the same time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, excited. It's a lot of stuff. So let me know how the um in person group sessions go. You haven't started yet, right? What individual? I did the one. the group one. Of the, the group? group? No, no. Okay. No, okay. I have yeah. I have I have one paying client. Oh, okay. Oh, which is also what is that recent pardon me? is that recent that you got the client yes, the yes, online very client? recent yeah oh wow that's awesome yeah. whoa exciting. and I'm getting paid but I wanted to get paid yeah it, yes. how do you feel how I I, you I feel? didn't get greedy I didn't get greedy but <laughs> I um but I I put it to what I thought was significant uh -huh. and yeah. worth I'm worthy of so I, I yes did, it was fine oh that's awesome yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, so I'm happy. I'm moving along. Yeah, I know. That's so awesome. Thank you, Zhang. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's you, really, Ellen. That you, well, you put I in mean, the thing. You guided yeah. me the whole way. You <laughs> guiding me. I mean, your, your mods, your mods, and your, mm. your group training and everything is, is just awesome. so pertinent. It's so it's so informative and helpful. I mean, you really you really see us through. It's really it's really great. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate hearing that. Yes. I will. I hope you enjoy your work with the, with the client. It's like, I can remember still like the first client that I had online one-on-one -on -one, and it's like the amazing, the most amazing feeling when you get, can, you, when you can get paid <laughs> doing the work that you truly like totally love to do. And yeah, so I'm excited for you, Ellen. Thank you. <laughs> um Thank you very much yeah so I think this might be a good place to kind of wrap up thank you Ellen thank so you. much I hope right. you have a good uh three-day weekend <laughs> yeah stay dry don't it's get good... wet out there right yeah <laughs> I will I'll stay dry <laughs> oh yeah I will stay dry <laughs> all right Ellen have a good weekend bye-bye I'll talk to you later okay bye-bye <laughs>